So in the past 24 hours, three high-speed pursuits involving Texas state troopers have ended in crashes. One of them came to an end on the UTEP campus. So this controversial strategy is part of Governor Greg Abbott's Operation Lone Star as part of an effort to crack down on human smugglers. KFOX 14 News at 9's Julia Spencer live for us on the UTEP campus with reaction to these crashes that critics say are putting lives at risk. Well, I'm standing in the spot where state troopers with the Texas Department of Public Safety chased a car to where it ended up crashing here on a UTEP's campus. Now, that car crashed into this fence right behind me. You can even see some of that indentation to where that car crashed. Now, although no one was hit, it, it all happened just feet away from a walkway where students walk to class every morning. Now, this isn't the first Texas DPS car crash to happen here in El Paso, and now it's leaving people more cautious of their surroundings. It scares me. It's real dangerous out here. It really makes me, you know, think about coming to class. You know, anything like that can happen. Take a look at your screen. This video that was shared on FitFam showing Texas DPS units surrounding the car they were chasing after the driver crashed into a fence at the end of Rim Road. But this crash is only one of two that happened today and the third in the last 24 hours. I think it's a little bit surprising to see something like that, but also not at the same time because we are a border city and there have been a lot of incidents related to that. A second car chase happened just a few hours later, this time on Donovan and Sunset, resulting in a rollover crash. You can see a DPS unit, an undercover unit, surrounding the car they were chasing, which ended up rolling over. Texas DPS says it started because an SUV was driving the wrong way on Donovan. Eight people, including migrants, were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. According to Texas DPS, another car chase from Tuesday resulted in six people being put in custody. I'm pretty sure we'll see some occur multiple times a week. In the past, we've spoken with a DPS trooper who says pursuing car chases is a part of the job and puts everyone at risk even the public. Suits, pursuits in general put, puts everybody's lives at risk, to include my troopers. The trooper, the smuggler, the migrants, the motoring public, everybody. It's, it's a risky business, but law enforcement is a risky business. Senator Cesar Blanco says he's trying to put a stop to this issue at a state level in a statement he says in part, quote, this is an issue I've addressed on the Senate floor and was discussed in yesterday's Senate committee on a board of security. I'll continue ongoing discussions with DPS until their policies improve public safety. Now, I did reach out to the Texas Department of Public Safety about these incidents. However, like we've um, re like we reached out before, we ha do not get a response from them. I'm live in West El Paso, Julia Spencer, KFOX 14 News at 9.